all right so in this video i will try to model this type of bottle this plastic bottle <laughs> all right so i create a box and i give it 2000 mm the length and the width the height i'll adjust i convert it to an editable poly and i select the segments and here I use a hotkey and a champ for it. So right now this will trying to get a chamfered box kind of thing. So right now I convert it to a clay model just for aesthetic sake. You have to make a cylinder because the more the bottle it transfers from a chamfered box base to a, to more of a top of a cylinder so it, trans it uh, transforms in the middle around the middle area so I'm trying to achieve that here here I add some segments to give the shape so I expand in the top view by make and also in the front view just to see how the shape forms and here I extrude the top part and add some segments again over here just to get the top part we'll give it a bit more shape <laughs> just adjusting all of these give it a bit more it's too deep it's, it's too big it's too long just adjusting right now So yeah, now I delete the cylinder, I don't need it anymore. So here I add one segment connecting it, add another and I delete three sides. So the idea here is to only model the, like a, a part of it and then just symmetry and rotate around and then weld it together later on. So your add cut just to define that and model half of this. So one eighth of the model I'll model and the rest I'll just symmetry it. Now at the bottom I, add, I ring it and I add a segment over there just to give it some depth and some uh, type of connection. And uh, here I edit the pivot. So basically I just want to center the pivot to the, to the midpoint of this once box now I'll extrude rather intrude it I'll delete these uh, faces here I don't need them really so basically I added the pivot in the middle just so that we can uh, it's much more easier for the symmetry and the rotation later on so right now I'm just uh, modeling a bit on the model just extruding some uh, vortices etc also note that I'm noticing how the segments next to the next to these vortices uh, are so make sure it's a bit uh, bulging out of the bottom and towards the top it's uh, mostly flat along the segment it doesn't bulge out and here I encounter I encounter a problem here where these segments on the top seem to have uh, gone into a wrong direction over here. So yeah, I just adjust them over here. This is mostly by this visual. I I just eyeball it over here and I just adjust it. Just adjust it a bit parallel. That's fine. Here I select the top part, so just to give it a bit of a bulge to represent a bit more of a cylindrical shape rather than a chamfered box. So I give a push modifier here and I just increase and I increase the value till I get what I want, what is desired. And here I uh, edit poly again, edit and on the Z axis. And here I just uh, adjust all of these vertices and looks good. 
now I'll uh, ring these edges and connect them at two segments just spread it out perfect and here I'll also connect these just to give it a bit more control here I'll remove the top ones I'll not need them even later on no requirement including those word uh, those isolated vertices they normally tend to cause problems in models if you do not remove isolated vertices and right now I just select the top part of these edges I deselect the bottom part and I just again give it a push modifier let's adjust it a bit more I see I'm trying to achieve that bulge and on the top part it actually goes inwards so I do not want that happening so just push it out a bit makes it a bit more better and you add top a smooth modifier so it looks good just to check if there are any problems as such add a symmetry modifier mirror it and just flip it and you're attached so the weld is something that will weld the vertices together so you don't have double vertices and all these problems here when I add the turbo smooth modifier I'm encountering problems again because there are some extra vertices that have not been deleted or rather have just shown up so now I'll just correct these I'll try selecting it but for some reason they don't get selected so I don't know if it's a glitch or something but yeah I'm having that problem so I tried to target well them but no no point didn't work out so I again try it I recheck and again I add a symmetry modifier and now I do it again so it welds automatically perfect and now there shouldn't be a problem yes anyway right now I angle snap and uh, press A and yeah so right now the pivot has been a bit off centered for some reason so it's all right for now and I try adjusting it but yeah so I decide just to uh, attach it using angle snap the segment the snaps not angle perfect so I snap these and just rotate these as well so I'm, I have four sides now and I bring them all together also know that when you uh, clone an object if you instance it then you cannot attach these later uh, well that happens now because they are not welded so eventually I will weld these select them and weld them you would decide a slight increment and they are welded together so there is no problem in that and here I use a freeform selection just to select these diagonal vertices and weld them as well now also note when we weld them if you increase the value too much unnecessary segments will unnecessary unnecessary vertices will uh, also weld together which you do not want them to weld mm -hmm. so always check that and make sure those ones don't weld so now right now your these segments are there so uh, these faces are there I know that the there are some segment segments not connected to the midpoint of this face so right now just select all of these and I delete them I use a boundary selection and I cap but the problem here is that when you cap so now if I if I uh, do this type and when I uh, insert keep inserting you'll notice that the segments tend to overlap and that will cause more problems for me later on while modeling so right now what I tend to do is I reverse this thing and I just insert the whole thing and I just pull it up 
just like how the bottle is and just modeling the bottom base of the bottle and I ring these segments and connect them at some yeah add some controls and connect them and give that shape just a bit of the base and then these what sees are on one level so on the Z axis they're flat on the Z axis and yeah I bring this down and so I'm just achieving the slight dent inside and once I'm good with it I just add another insert just to control those edges a bit more that last thing and looks good so now I go to the top where the cap is cap of the bottle you gotta del also delete these segments I prefer deleting all of these segments no need for them and uh, border selection and then I just scale them inside by pressing shift I press shift and I scale it in and here I extrude them and then again I press shift and again scale it in and just deciding the depth of the this height and I, and I notice that the segments on the top are not in a line and the vertices are not in one this so I again reset it on the Z axis to make them all in one level and now I redo it by using the same thing the shift and the scaling it inwards and so now I'm just deciding the bottle the height of the cap and notice that the scaling has gone a bit weird so there's for some reason there's this weird scaling type in where it scales on one axis but increases on the other I don't know why they have it but yeah they do have it so just press R again just to switch from the that type of scaling to the other much more even scaling Here I ring these and add two segments just to give a bit more control. And notice I have detached the cap right now. So the cap is a complete separate object. And you now select uh, two faces by pressing control. Control and select two faces and insert and you get to desired shape then extrude and your this ring select the segments just ring it disconnect and yeah That looks decent enough. And so does this. Right now also looks pretty it the that part looks pretty out, so I just pull it in by using edge constraint on the faces. So you go to edit geometry and then you can select edge constraint so it moves along the edges and make sure also that you don't have a uh, edge constraint constantly selected otherwise it can mess up your geome geometry if you move around if you're moving faces around and yeah 
I just stop us more this and I decide to give it a bit in depth so you're exactly so I switch to none on the constraints so basically if I have the edge constraint on then it uh, just rotates a, a, along the edges moves along the edges instead of moving on the z-axis moving upwards so make sure that those constraints are not applied and yes thank you